Hey viewers, this is E36 Fanatic, Steven here. Today I'm going to show you how to remove a seat belt off of a Mercedes Benz. Uh, this is a W210 model E430. Uh, however, it's pretty much the same on a lot of the early model, late model uh, Mercedes Benz. It's pretty much the same on a lot of the different ones. So the first thing you're going to need to do the molding here is basically interlocked with other parts of the molding so you have to remove it a little bit down uh, here before you can actually start removing up here to get to the entire seat belt so first I'm gonna go ahead and do this and it's really easy to remove you just squeeze uh, with your thumb um, And it's just held on with these clips right here. So if you just squeeze it, it comes right out. It's pretty easy. Then after that, we're going to have to remove the trim right here. Which you can just pull out. It's held on with these little clips too. But... Now, if you're just... Uh, if you're just redoing the tensioner, you don't need to do all this, but if you're actually removing the entire seat belt, uh, you do, and I'm pulling out a little more than I need to. But So then you've got this right, the plastic right here. Now this is held on by these clips right here, and you just take a little screwdriver and pull them right out, and they come right out. Now, so you've got these four uh, these four clips on this plastic piece. You got two on each side. So once you're done with the first side, removing uh, this weather stripping in the panel, you come to the other side and remove it, remove the weather stripping as well, so you can get to the get to the clips underneath. Then you just take a little flathead screwdriver and pop them right out. Okay, so once you got those four clips out, this piece comes right out, and then you've got the actual tensioner, which is right down here, and go ahead and pull out this clip right here, or this, uh, this connection, so you don't mess up anything with the electrical. And then we're going to go ahead and work on pulling out this seat belt. Now, if you want to... Now, if you're removing the tensioner with it, of course, you're going to take take this bolt right here, which I believe is a 17 millimeter, uh, 17 millimeter bolt, and just take that out, and then this whole tensioner will come right out. But we're going to go ahead and go a little bit higher here. Now, on this higher piece right here, you can see that it is held on by two clips on this side and two clips on this side, same way as the other one. So you just take a screwdriver and pop them right out like the bottom part, then this will come right out. Now here's the lower clip um, for the top piece, and then here's the, uh, the higher clip, the second clip up. Um, the taller, the higher clip is a little bit oriented a little bit differently. Um, this one ended up actually just, uh, just coming right out with the actual piece, but that's no big deal. It'll, it'll pop right in anyways, back in, so that's no big deal. But, so once you've got that out, you can see how it's... It's just held into these holes. So once you've got this piece out, you're looking at your entire seat belt, uh, your entire seat belt assembly. So what you're going to go ahead and do is remove. If you want to remove the whole entire assembly, uh, including the rail right here, you're going to go ahead and remove this bolt which I believe is also a 17 millimeter, and this bottom bolt right here to remove this tensioner. 
and the whole thing will pop out afterwards. Okay, so this top bolt right here is actually a 13. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. There we go. Then this pops right out. Then I got this last bolt right here, which is the 17 millimeter holding the actual tensioner. So once you got that out, Okay, so all in all, it's a pretty easy removal process to get this get this whole thing out. Uh, as you can see, it's covered with grime and stuff from years of usage. But this is actually a good tensioner and a good belt on this car. Uh, I'm just gonna sell it. This is a scrap car, so. But also, I didn't notice there is a second black. There is a second little. Uh, little electric connector that you need to remove you got the yellow one of course but then you got this small black one that ties right into here it's pretty easy you just pull on and it comes right out so that's a video on so that's a video on removing the seat belt uh the entire seat belt and the tensioner on a mercedes-benz w210 or it's very compatible it's compatible with a lot of other cars too hope you all enjoyed it uh, if you did if you did please like comment and, and subscribe thank you very much and you all have a good one